you need to stop getting a haircut. And what do I mean by that? Well, if you're trying to grow your hair out, and I know many of you may be trying to grow your hair out from say, you know, you're getting a skin fade or something really short in the sides, and you keep going back and your barber or your hair styles just keeps cutting it shorter and shorter, or they keep cutting the same areas that you're trying to grow out. Next thing you know, the top of your hair is like, you know, really, really long, and this is still short, and it's not what you're looking for. So you need to stop getting haircuts. I'm telling you right now, if you are someone who has a relatively short haircut on the sides, let's just say you're getting like a number one or a skin fade, what you need to do is actually get a haircut where you trim the top and that's it, maybe clean around the ears. Okay, fine, you can clean it up. And then don't get a haircut. And this could last you for like maybe, you know, two, three months to where this is really, really growing out to where you can then go in and this is your new hairstyle. That's when you get it cleaned up around the sides and trim the top. Now, what the important thing is, is that you need to express to the professional, do not do what you used to do on my hair. Like, I know you used to do a skin fade on me, no more. I know you used to do a one guard and fade it up. No, I'm trying to keep it at this length. Just clean around the ears and the back of the neck, get all those like hairs growing in and leave it as is. Maybe clean up the top and trim it a little bit, but do not touch the length on the side. This is what you need to say to these people. If you see them take clippers with no guard and they start going like that, just no, do not. That's when you maybe should switch to a hairstylist or somebody who you know is gonna do just scissor work, okay? Um, but really what it comes down to is just have to express to the professional. So don't get a haircut, especially when you're trying to grow this out. Let me know in the comments below if this has, has happened to you where you're like, I'm trying to grow the sides out or you got it to where it's like this length and you go to some guy and he, or person and they start doing a skin fade and you're like, oh my God, it's taken me three months to get my hair this long and they go and hack it. Let me know in the comments below because I'd, li I'd like to know, uh, you know, the solution to that. Now, let's just say your hair does get to a certain length and you're like, I'm never, I'm not used to this you know, I got all this hair or it sticks out like this and you're like, why do it? I don't like how this looks. That's when the product comes in handy. I have uh, officially launched and I made a video on this the other day, my newest product called One, One Hair Clay. This is the most versatile hair product I would say ever created. And I spent a lot of time and investment in this. The packaging is ridiculous. I'm so excited about this. The smell is extremely fresh very clean, not overpowering. And this is under my brand, the Salon Guy brand. This is not, you know, crafted or anything. This is my main uh, Salon Guy brand. So you just flip that down, open it up, and there it is. So it's a very creamy consistency at first. This is three products in one. And that's how, from the testing and my goal from this, from, from this, you know, beginning was I want to have the most versatile, unique hair product that you can literally style it in a variety of ways with one thing. And this product came out so frigging incredible. And, and a lot of you have been purchasing it already and I'm super excited about it. So you could take a little amount. So take one little scoop, just like that. That's it. That's all you may need in the beginning. Make sure you always close this as well after you're done taking your scoop. Now here's how it's three products in one. If you work it through your hands, a little bit where it's still very creamy, then it becomes like a medium to strong kind of hold cream. Then if you work it in a little bit where you see like a very light sheen, then it acts as like a pomade for more slicking back and controlling and taming. Then what the last part, which I'm going to do right now, it's like a traditional type of a hair clay, a very, very matte, pliable, I'd say a medium to almost firm hold clay but the thing about this is that it's so versatile and it's so reworkable it's, it's incredible so this is where you want to be a bit more traditional work it through your hands like this right and here we go so what you want to do with the sides is i like to take the hands and work it down this way so you're almost like like you're shaking the hair a little bit like this and what that does is it adds a little bit of texture like this it adds a little bit of texture and then what it does is it helps kind of tame down the sides a little bit. And then you can work in the product in through the front, into the top, however you're looking to wear it, that's totally up to you. But you can see this is giving the hair really, really good texture. Uh, it's shaping in very easily. 
And I'm telling you, this, I, I hate to even say this, may be probably my best hair product in my lineup or one of them, aside from maybe like, you know, Tidal Wave and 25 and a couple other ones. I do have a lot of great products, but this is my new passion. And I have a few other products that I'm launching, like my smoothing serum, Sleek, is being relaunched and a new hairspray finally um, <clears throat> that I've been working on. So you can see it adds a lot of texture and matte finish, but this is how you work this in. So work the sides down. And if your hair gets a bit longer and you're seeing it react very differently, then what you need to do is work the product in the way the hair grows if you want to lay flat. If you don't want it to stick out like this, then don't go against it. You need to find how your hair grows. So work the hair down in, in different directions and you can see it's gonna be a bit more tame if you go downwards like this. Most people's hair on the sides goes down or a bit forward. Work it in, but make sure you kind of just do a little bit of raking with your fingers, and that's gonna help you have a much more polished, unique look uh, instead of just the hair looking a bit sloppy as it grows out. So if you're interested in purchasing this one product, it's available. We do ship you know, all across the, the world. It's a little more expensive, obviously, but you know, this is available in the United States. So shop.thesalonguy.com and you can use code YouTube20. That's YouTube20 at shop.thesalonguy.com for 20% off. Thank you all so much for the support on this. You all are gonna love this, I'm telling you. I'm so passionate and excited about this. I want this to be the number one hair product out there, like regardless, okay? So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon.